think God is too slow, there's a problem. The enemy is playing with your mind. God is never too slow. Never too slow. Anytime you come to the consciousness and you are thinking God is slow with your life, it's a problem because Satan is already playing with your mind. He said when it comes to the timing of that thing, I will hasten it. You can't be more hasty than me. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said when, the, so everything has been timed because it makes all things beautiful in his time. But God said, look, everything is little by little. Precept upon precept. Line must be upon line. Here a little, there a little. Everybody say, I hear. Say, I hear. Can we go a little deeper? They told me chapter 7 verse 22. Confirm what we're talking about. They told me chapter 7 verse 22. Before we close. They told me chapter 7 verse 22. I'll continue in the third service. Look at what he said. And the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you. Little by little. You will be unable to destroy them at once. Say, I know your capacity. I know what you can handle. I know if I give you 10 billion now, you can't do it. So I want you to grow first. Sometimes God wants to build you before blessing you. He wants to build you some tenacity, some muscles, some strength. Because glory has weight. Have you heard of the weight of his glory? Huh? Have you read about it? The Bible talks about the weight of his glory. Your neck can go down. Glory has weight. So God wants to build that neck to be able to carry that glory. Are you following it? This thing you are asking for, if you have it now, it can kill you. There are levels of glory that can destroy a man. And he will not be able to undo it. So God takes his time. Because he wants everything he's doing in your life to last. And it's not about how far, it's about how, how well. So if you are here, you've been saying God is slow. God sent me to tell you in this second service, he is not slow. When the time for manifestation comes, he will hasten it. He will fast forward it. You see, you are going to come to a season shortly in your life where what you make in 10 years, you will make in 10 minutes. You don't know what I'm talking about. What you make in 10 years, you get the alert in 10 minutes. 10, 10 minutes, you are getting the alert. 10, 10 minutes. And it used to be 10 years before. Where some figures will not have made, it won't make sense. When they mention 80 million, you won't be, you won't be sweating like you are sweating now. When they say 80 million, it's like 80 cobble. Like what? One of the special advisors to one of the presidents in the past, we got close to him. And I saw that this man doesn't spend naira. He likes us to be around him. He's a believer. He likes us to be around him anytime he's doing anything. He likes to invite myself and my wife to come around with our family and celebrate with him. One day his wife was doing a bad day. And I was thinking, what are we going to give to these people that have everything? You know, some people, you don't even know what to give them. I thought and thought myself, my wife, we crack our brain. Everything we thought about does not make sense. Everything we thought about didn't make sense. Your wristwatch? Oh. Have you not heard of a governor using a wristwatch of 400 and over 400,000 pounds or dollars? So, how would I buy that kind of watch for somebody, even if I have the money? If you buy a watch for such people, that watch, they will give it to their driver or their gate man. So, we're thinking of what? So, at the end of the day, you know, I was very smart. I thought of a Bible. <laughs> I just give you an expo now. I thought of a Bible. I say... I will go for a special Bible. So we look for a very powerful, nice leather Bible. There's no way, most, there's no how expensive a Bible would be. I know I will be able to afford it. So we bought him that Bible. But that's not where I'm going. On the day of the occasion, my PA2 was with me. When we were about to leave, the gift they gave us, <laughs> the gift they gave each guest, I felt like calling them and saying, please, can I bring... Can you bring the Bible? I'll come back to come. And, the gift each person the back from here was like this, with lace, with things, with powerful things. When they were giving us, I was ashamed of the gift I brought, because we are the one who is a guest. You are the celebrant, and that's how they give us the gift. I was in another bad day of a powerful woman. She's been here before. She. Very elderly mother. Her daughter is in this church. And uh, she said God told her to celebrate with pastors. So she invited about 100 pastors for her birthday. 
God just blessed her with one idea like that in the real estate. And the money just rushed this woman. Boom. I was thinking, what will I give mama? What will I give mama? Then when we were going that day, they were, they've already put a bag of rice in every boot. And they were giving all of us envelope. <laughs> Brown envelope. Every pastor. And I was thinking in my head that, it's, you know, some gift, you collect it, it's like SCBs. The bag of rice looked like an exhibit in my boot because I felt, ah, I will not they want to bring gift. When God blesses you to a point, what used to make sense will not make sense again. Somebody is here. You are breaking forth into your season of plenty. Where you will experience the king's favor. God told us yesterday in the men's fellowship, you are stepping to your season where you'll be experiencing the king's favor. The queen's favor. That's another level. When Mordecai experienced the king's favor, everything changed overnight. God said he will hasten it in his time. Somebody is stepping into that season of your king's favor. From today, you will experience king's favor. At what king's favor? All the most influential people in your environment, they will favor you. All the most influential people in your country, they will favor you. All the most influential personality around you will favor you. I prophesy to someone here today in the name that is above every name. You are stepping into a new season. A season where a small among you becomes strong. A little one will become a thousand. You will do one thing, you get one thousand results. You are stepping into a thousand fold dimensions. Where one step, one call, we turn everything around one thousand times. One letter will change everything 1,000 times. One call will change everything 1,000 times. One call will change everything 1,000 times. One letter will change everything 1,000 times. One visit will take every, change everything 1,000 times. One knock at the door will open 1,000 doors. You will knock a door, a 1,000 doors will open. You will knock one door, a 1,000 doors will open. You will knock one door in your field, in your business, in your place of assignment. A thousand doors will open. You are stepping into the season where harvest will overlap harvest in your life. I say harvest will overlap harvest in your life. Before you are through with one, another one has come in. Before you are finishing celebrating one, another one is there again. From today, you are coming into a dimension of plenty. Abundance. I say plenty. Abundance. As you break that dream to little unit, you begin to achieve them one after the other. God will make it easy in your hand. What looks difficult will be cheap in your hand. What looks complex will be simple in your hands. If you are the one, let your be louder. Why God is preparing you for that season? Please learn everything you can learn. Grow everything you can grow. Please grow. Please grow. Please increase. Because the reason why is delaying those things so that you can grow. And if you don't use that time to grow, you're also delaying yourself. Huh? So please, I beg you, grow. So that while you are growing, it's taking you to the next level. You are growing, it's a, and you get to that dimension where everything, you lose count. Oh, you will lose count shortly. I say you will lose count shortly. Where if they ask you how much are you worth, you will have to think. Because even you, you don't know how much you are worth. You think, you make a statement, it won't be a correct statement. Because you can't remember everything you are worth. Stretch your two hands to heavens. Say, Lord, make achieving great things easy for me. Because it's in my DNA. It's in my blood. I, why should I struggle for what I have in my DNA? Why should I struggle for what you have destined me for? Why should I struggle for what I am wired for? I refuse to struggle. Make greatness easy for me. I receive grace that makes greatness cheap and easy. There is a dimension of grace that makes it easy. I receive grace that will make, I love, that will make me achieve great things in a very simple way. I receive grace. Open your mouth and pray that prayer before we close this morning. 
Thank you, Jesus. I receive grace. With a thousand, with a, with a single knock, a thousand doors will open. A single knock. I'm stepping into that season where you will hasten these in this time. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Lift up your two hands wherever you are watching from. Whether on site or online. If you're on the ground floor, if you're in the gallery upstairs. If you're outside in any of the flows, lift up your two hands. Say, Lord, I receive grace. That will make it easy for me. This journey needs to be easy. Because I have the DNA of greatness. My journey into greatness is not meant to be difficult. It's meant to be easy. I receive grace that will make it easy. I decree as you have declared over your life this morning, as you step out of this gathering, as you get back to work today or tomorrow, as you hone your phone, open your computer, it will be easy for you. Where you struggled before now, you will not struggle again. The people you struggle to get their attention, they will be the one getting, trying to get your attention. The places you try to get their attention, they will be the one looking for you. He said to Abraham, I'm not going to bless you. I'll make sure the blessing run after you and overtake you. I prophesy what you're running after will run after you. What you've pursued for years, couldn't catch up with, will pursue you. Step into your season of king, the king's favor. Experience favor with the king. Favor with the queen. Fewer with those who matter. Fewer with the most influential people. In the name of Jesus. To the shame of the enemy and to the glory of God. Wave your hands and give him glory. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. We'll never be the same again. In Jesus precious name we pray.